Welcome to the conference. We will now start with the program. I really enjoyed the day. Uh, manufacturing has a huge variety of topics. Uh, manufacturing is not an easy job because yeah. this is why we are doing it. We're doing it not because it's easy, because it's hard. It's complex, it's lots of brain work. And what I also um, really liked about this uh, show is that we put manufacturing and the production in the center. Because we at VDMA, we have a strong belief that the production will be a key enabler to the sustainable mobility of the future. It will not only be the OEMs and it will not only be the, the large uh, 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 consulting companies like, uh, like PricewaterhouseCooper and, and McKinsey and they will not change the world. It will be the companies who are producing robots, the companies who are producing production equipment, the companies who are producing sustainable uh, cooling fluids and, and stuff like that. Yeah. Because th this will really impact the, the business model of the future. And um, we, we have to be there with, with cutting edge technologies in terms of manufacturing and production. Because this will be a, a huge benefit for, for the sake of, of the European economy in the future. It, it has always been and, and it will become even more important in the, in the, in the future. I just have shown the, the, the picture of Henry Ford. That, that was a tremendous impact on, on streamlining workflows. And we have made the same job in the 1980s, 1990s, when uh, computer and numerical uh, systems uh, were in the market with uh, CNC and also with uh, CAD CAM. Um, and right now we are in this place where we are in really in, in full swing of Industry 4.0. We have understand what we need to do. Industry 4.0 is not just a buzzword. It's, it's happening right now. And electromobility, it's happening right now. And digitalization, it's happening right now. So everything where all these future trend scientists 10 years ago, they said, this will come. And everybody said, ah, <laughs> ah, crazy guy. I, I don't trust him. We will run with fuel for the next 100 years. No, no, it's, it's happening right now. Yeah. And, and that's what, what really touches me a lot in my daily work. And what really was also the focus of this show that was not some kind of scientific, academic, outreach project, projects. It's really down to earth. And this is what all of these presenters here showed. They showed examples from their facilities, from their companies, what is happening there. And this is reality. This is not kind of a paper study. They, they, these are all producing companies. They are building robots, inverters, cars, batteries, uh, lighting systems, yeah, yeah. It's it's not McKinsey and it's not Bright Waterhouse Cooper and it's not Roland Berger and whatever you call it. What could make an engineer happier than innovate every day?